Every year, millions of salmon undertake one of the most extreme journeys in nature. They swim hundreds, sometimes thousands of kilometers, fighting rapids, waterfalls, even bears, just to return to the very stream where they were born. But what if I told you they make this incredible journey just to die? Salmon are born in freshwater rivers and streams, but they spend most of their adult lives in the ocean. This is called being anadromous, creatures that live in salt water but return to freshwater to reproduce. After years of living in the open sea, something remarkable happens. A biological clock begins to tick. Hormones flood their bodies. Their skin darkens, jaws twist into hooks, and their bodies change shape, all to prepare for spawning. Driven by instinct, they begin their final swim, back upstream, often against impossible odds. The journey is brutal. Many will not survive the upstream battle. But for those who do, a final task awaits. Once they reach their birthplace, males compete for mates. Females dig nests in the gravel, called reds, and lay thousands of eggs. The males fertilize them, and then it's over. Their mission complete, their bodies give out, their scales dull, their skin decays, and within days or weeks, they die. So, why does this happen? Why do salmon die after spawning? The answer lies in how evolution shaped their life cycle. Salmon are semelpris, a species that reproduces only once in a lifetime. Instead of saving energy to survive, they put everything, literally everything, into reproduction. They stop eating during their migration. Their organs begin to break down to fuel their muscles. By the time they spawn, they are living on borrowed time. In the salmon's world, Reproduction comes at the ultimate cost. But this death isn't meaningless. As salmon die, their bodies release nutrients, rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, and carbon, back into the stream. These nutrients feed insects, plants, birds, bears, and even the very young salmon still hidden in the gravel. In fact, some forests along salmon rivers grow faster thanks to the nutrients carried in salmon carcasses. Death here is not an end, but a gift. In the Pacific Northwest, indigenous communities have long honored this cycle. For them, salmon are not just fish, they are relatives. They return home, give life, and complete a sacred journey. And for scientists, the salmon run is one of the clearest examples of nature's balance, a cycle of life, death, and renewal. From death comes new life and the cycle begins again. So, the next time you see a salmon leaping up a waterfall, remember, you're not just watching a fish, you're witnessing one of Earth's most extraordinary life stories.